Trust. In today's age of exponential change, where technological advances threaten to outpace our ability to adapt, trust is key. For when there is trust, decision-making is agile, and confidence in our humanity prevails. Nowhere is this truer than for institutions of higher learning, and particularly for engineering schools, whose graduates will be producing extraordinarily powerful technologies. But what is trust? It is competence, and it is character, a passion for engineering a better world for all humanity. USC Viterbi's commitment to building societal trust reverberated loudly in 2019. This past fall saw the entering undergraduate class reach gender parity for the first time in Viterbi's history, with women making up 50% of the incoming class, a historic record for the school. For Viterbi to be 50-50 male-female in engineering class is extraordinary, it's fabulous. Viterbi is the engineering school with the largest number of female graduate students in the nation. Viterbi also sustained its position at the top of engineering school rankings by U.S. News & World Report. In 2019, the USC Viterbi graduate program was among the top 10 in the country. Viterbi's online graduate programs were in the top five, and computer science was number one for the eighth consecutive year. And in a close partnership of engineering through computer sciences and the USC School of Cinematic Arts, the USC Games graduate program was ranked as the best in the nation. Extraordinary competence means attracting the best talent from all over the world. In 2019, the Turby professors Mata Magadam and Baroque Kushnevis were elected to the National Academy of Engineers. Even as the school recruited two other academy members, retired four-star general Ellen Polakowski and new provost Chip Zukowski. Chemistry professor Mark Thompson, affiliated with our Mork family department, was also elected to the NAE. Two other faculty members, Neil Siegel and Gianluca Lazzi, were elected to the National Academy of Inventors. And Carol Folt, who has a joint appointment in civil and environmental engineering, became USC's new president. In October 2019, PhD candidate Gina Alhani was named by MIT Technology Review as one of the top 20 innovators under age 35 in the Middle East and North Africa region. Alhani is designing a framework to prepare the Persian Gulf region in the event of a disaster among three interdependent industries, oil production, desalination, and nuclear energy. She is only the second doctoral student at USC and likely in the nation to achieve this distinction before graduating. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. After he returned to Earth, he realized he was missing something, a master's degree from USC Viterbi. In April of 2019, students from the USC Rocket Propulsion Lab continued in his footsteps, becoming the first undergraduate team in history to launch a rocket past the Kármán line, the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and space. Their rocket reached a height of 339,800 feet, more than doubling the previous record, also set by another Viterbi RPL team. Viterbi's thought leaders continue to emerge as pioneers in new fields. Viterbi's Information Science Institute, ISI, is leading a consortium of universities and companies to build quantum computers and is developing SAGE, Synergistic Anticipation of Geopolitical Events, a multi-million dollar IARPA-funded system designed to forecast global socioeconomic events. Viterbi is also leading the new USC Center for Sustainability Solutions, a university-wide initiative headed by professors Mata Magadam and Detlof von Winterfeld focusing on sustainable cities, transportation, and energy. 2019 also marked the 10th anniversary of the NAE Grand Challenges Scholars Program. USC Viterbi alone has graduated 163 Grand Challenges Scholars since 2012, more than any other school. And the program, co-founded at Viterbi, has been adopted at over 80 engineering schools across the country and more than 120 schools globally. 2019 also saw USC Viterbi tackle the largest humanitarian challenge since World War II by creating the first engineering course in the nation that took students inside refugee camps. The course, led by Professor Birchin Baserik Gerber, focused on the plight of war refugees in the Greek island of Lesbos, resulting in new companies like Duet, 
a student startup that connects donors directly with individual refugees. Indeed, the motto of the class was lives, not grades. But 2019 is just the beginning. Last year marked the approval of the Dr. Allen and Charlotte Ginsburg Human-Centered Computation Building. This new 100,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility targeted for completion by 2023 will be focused on human-centered computation, advancing computing for good. It will carry the torch of the Viterbi mission to engineer a better world for all humanity. Having reached many historic milestones this year, the USC Viterbi School of Engineering will continue to build on its vision and its past achievements and to lead engineering schools in changing the conversation about engineering. The Viterbi engineer is the engineer of the 21st century who will build trust with the world beyond our campus and demonstrate the power of engineering and technology to change the world for the benefit of all humanity.